So again, as we talk about harvest loss in a year like 2021, where we got tremendous disease pressure, a lot of these plants died anywhere from 30 to 40 days before black layer. So they put in what I call a gray layer and it didn't finish very well. So after you've been out and you do your uh, one hundredth of an acre count for lost ears that you picked up, then you can do your thousandth of an acre and look at whether you got cylinder loss or whether you got a separator loss uh, out there in the field. And this is going to be crucial this year to do it on every field, every hybrid. We just can't set the planter or the combine once and uh, go from there because we'll have one hybrid that's, while it doesn't yield well, it's got a solid ear. And then we got a bunch of them this year. They got a real rubbery cob and that rubbery cob is hard to get that grain off of. You still want this grain. So when we think about a square foot here in the cornfield, two kernels is a bushel and a situation where, um, you know, I've seen fields already this fall, there are 20 bushel laying on the ground that we're not cleaning up. So again, we got to set things a little bit tighter. We probably have to dirty up our sample just a little bit to get this cleaned up. But as you change varieties, you want to stop that combine, get out there behind it and figure out, again, is it is it coming through the stripper plate? Like some of these are, they're going through the stripper plate and making it to the ground, then we're going to have to work with the stripper plates. And I know we like to have those stripper plates open for the down corn, so it's a happy medium somewhere in between that it's not going through the stripper plates. This year, no doubt, our biggest harvest loss is coming right here. We're leaving too much on the cob. This is going to be volunteer corn for next year that we get to kill, and it's $5 corn we're leaving in the field. And again, ears like this. They're going to be coming through the deck plates, so it's going to be your how far apart you have your stripper plate set and how fast the head speed's running. This is going to be your thrashing or your cylinder loss as far as how tight things are there. We've got to clean this up to get this, and we've got to tighten this up to get this.